Could this be the telltale of warmer relations between the Malian transitional government and leaders of West African states? It certainly is a question on many observers' minds, given that this is the first time that Asimi Goita has been invited to the negotiating table since Mali was suspended from the ECOWAS bloc a few months ago, after months of a standoff in the face of the Malian authorities' refusal to hold elections as initially planned in February 2022, which led ECOWAS to impose economic sanctions on the country, this change of tone may be a sign that a breakthrough is in sight. It's important to note that the transitional government, who has been in power since an August 2020 military coup, had initially envisaged a five-year transition. It then revised its ambitions and proposed a two-year transition just a few days ago. But this was not enough to persuade ECOWAS leaders. Now, the summit comes on the heels of uh, the West African Monetary Union Court of Justice's decision to suspend uh, the economic and financial sanctions that ECOWAS had actually imposed on Mali in January.